I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Well, Merry Christmas, guys! If you're watching this video, well, to my defense, this was before Christmas, okay? I don't, I don't care if you're watching on the 26th, it still, still counts today, okay? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, this is a really nice time, isn't it? To in, in the year, IRL, in-game. You know why in-game? This is probably, and that's the point of the video, I, I don't know why I was, I'm, I'm yapping so much. Uh, this is the best time for a new player to start the game. Like, I know, ironically, this might be the best the best moment for a free-to-play new player starting the game today, ever. I don't think this will ever repeat, right, to this magnitude. Uh, and I will explain you why, but this is really, really big. First of all, let's, let, let's take a look at what's in store right now. Besides, not literally in store, but let's check what's in the summon page okay now on the summon page we have the tooth fairy banner with beacon bloom which is an insane unit uh, tooth fairy which is a crazy if not the craziest uh healer in the game like the the strongest the the most uh reliable the most flexible healer of uh, healer in the game to this day even in china they, uh, and they are on 1.5 they are six months ahead of us and she's still like T0, which means like the highest tier possible. Blani, which is a star DPS, uh, she's okay, right? She's like mid tier, not because she cannot do damage. She can, there's, but there's just also other characters that we'll, talk, we'll touch about them in just a second that are a little bit better and that you can uh, keep an eye on. As a new player, this banner is already insane and this already gives you a, a fully functional star team. Like if you get bl one Blonnie, one one uh, Beacon Bloom, and one Tooth Fairy, you can use these three characters together, and they will work. Okay, and you will deal nice nice damage, and they will literally carry you up until maybe like half of the limbo, which is the end game after the you complete the first uh, ten tutorial stages in, a, in an end game mode. Okay, after the story. So this is the limited banner. It's going away in four days. So you'll still have time to rack up your, your unilogs, right? And, or maybe you just don't want all of these characters. Maybe you want a couple of these characters, or maybe you just want Tooth Fairy. You do 10 pulls and you get Tooth Fairy, right? Let's say you have Tooth Fairy, but, and now you still have a lot of, uh, of uh, pulls left because you're a new player. And as a new player, you can get up to 100 more, 100 or more uh, pulls within like one, two, three days of playing, which is enough for this banner to the, to the point of this video, right? Besides that, let's say you don't have enough to get too, too, too many pulls, right? But you still get Tooth Fairy. Uh, I would highly advise you, if you don't really mind, to re-roll. It takes like 10 minutes. I would advise you to try and and make, and make try to re-roll and get like a good account or maybe... Uh, make one of your friends do an that they don't want to play the game just make them do an account and maybe you can you can check which one of the two is the is the best one and then uh do some stuff like that for the reason that is that we have also another limited banner it's not a limited banner it's a rate up uh, limited for a limited time which is nine days and this one also cover a little other aflatus right because the aflatus is uh, the element of the game so having the right element to 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 combat to fight against the the weak one uh, that's what you want to do in the game so on the other banner we have eternity charlie and click now click is like an okay unit is a uh, kind of niche it does it specializes in defenses more more or less more or less and but the the main event in this banner is eternity which is the coverage dps uh for the mineral which is like the mountain symbol right she's very strong uh there are stronger characters coming but this is the point of the video that as a free to play player you have almost every character at your disposal and i will explain you why also after eternity you also have charlie charlie is one at uh, three cop uh, four copies of charlie so one so one base and three copies which you might arrive to on on this banner if you want to pull on this charlie is called p3 because it's like three portrait three copies right so Charlie P3, that's how we call them, the copies, 
is stronger than she's a five star. She's strong. She's stronger than a six star version, which is called Lilia. Because Lilia has all the problems. We're not gonna talk about that. But it's a very very powerful character. Even at zero copies, you just get one Charlie. Uh, compared to Blunny, she's way stronger, right? So if you're pulling for Eternity. Uh, that, which is an option for you as a free-to-play, uh, new free-to-play user, you can get Charlie as well, and that's a, that's a really, really good uh, starter pack, right? Because, like, it's one mineral and then one, uh, one uh, star. Now, after that, we have the... This is the standard banner. Do not touch this as a new player, okay? Unless you are re-rolling. Uh, if you're not re-rolling... Do not touch that. Maybe you want to roll on the beginner banner. Now, I don't have it, but as a new player on top of this, you will have a fourth banner with uh, a spe special rules, okay? Now, the special rules are that you have a total of 30, 30 pulls or 40 pulls, something like that. Now, I don't remember exactly because it was a very long time ago. I made a video in the past, so if you want to know more about it or how it works, go back and check one of my very first videos about about Reverse 1999. I go over it. We'll exp I explain everything, so do that if you want to know more. But on the beginner banner, you will be able to guarantee one character between Regulus, Lilia, and Eternity, right? So since Eternity is here, you might want to try multiple times when wink wink uh and try and get regulus because regulus is a very very powerful unit is can act as a dps but since you are pulling for on these two banners one of these two or both if you're lucky enough you will probably end up having one uh, stronger more active not stronger more active uh star dps because regulus is still star so if you get let's say in a scenario you get a blunny and then you do beginner banner until you get Regulus, and then you do Blonnie or Charlie, Regulus and Tooth Fairy. Now, that's a, that's a powerhouse team. That's a very, very powerful team, okay? A Regulus might seem slow at first, but she gets really, really good and really, really strong in the future. I'm not going to say anything about her uh, mechanics-wise because I, I have guides about her. So you might think at this point, okay, well, that's pretty good. So you have all of these choices, all of these choices, and uh, there's multiple characters that fill different roles that you're supposed to have on your account, plus multiple Aflatus coverage, and that must be it, right? No, 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 we're going further, we're going further beyond. This is the uh, winter special event banner that will start appearing on the 30th, on the 30th of, uh, uh, of December. So this is going to be after the uh, Tooth Fairy and the, actually just the Tooth Fairy. And I believe this is going to be the, Eternity one is going to be almost over at that point, but it's still there in case you need it. So this banner, what it does is you have 40 pulls, a max of 40 pulls. I'm pretty sure you can get it before, but if you get a six star trigger, anything, instead of getting a six star, you get one golden thread between one, two and three. I made a video about it, so I'm not going to go uh, too in depth about it, but you have a chance of getting, you see this character, let me open in a new tab. You see this character here, you have the Thread 1, you have Druvis, Anan Lee, and Sotheby. On the Thread 2, you have Centurion, Medicine Pocket, New Babel, and Eternity. And on the <clears throat> on the Golden Thread 3, you have uh, Aina, A Knight, Lilia, Voyager, and Regulus. Now, there are multiple combos where you can uh, where you can tackle this. You might you might keep the beginner banner unpooled. And then pull on Tooth Fairy, get Tooth Fairy, and then chill, wait for the invitation from Water Banner, because at that point Tooth Fairy goes away, and then uh, pull on this one, and whoever, whatever you get, Golden Thread you get, you, you have to keep, you open it, and you choose between one of these characters. Now, the only downside, quote-unquote, is that you can't really decide which Golden Thread you're going to you're gonna receive right so depending on the one that you receive at that point now you might want to check what you get from the beginner banner and hopefully you get one that is not a copy of something someone that you have right but uh, either way this might be also a skip uh, depending on what you uh, how you want to tackle it or maybe if you want to gamble anyway because there's multiple good characters in each of these 
golden threads. On top of that, let's not forget that after the Tooth Fairy banner goes away, it will be replaced by Jessica's banner, one of, if not the best, current, uh, currently even in China, the only and the best plant DPS, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a deer girl, well, whatever. You, you'll see her soon. I'm going to post a guide in a couple of days before she comes out. So uh, this banner comes after, Jessica Banner comes after Tooth Fairy, right? And in Jessica, you can get Jessica Banner, right? So you you might pull for Jessica, but Jessica doesn't want to play alone. Let's let's generalize it like that. So what you can do is de decide if you want to pull on as a free to play. Decide if you want to pull on Jessica after if you want to pull on this one, right? Pull on this one, and then if you get the golden thread one, then you want to kind of want to pull for Jessica because at that point and we don't open it and then see if a pull for Jessica and see if you get her. If you get Jessica, then you open the golden thread one in case you got it, and then you pick up you pick Sotheby from it. Okay. If you are not interested in the poison team, which is Sotheby and Jessica, right? Jessica wants Sotheby, and Sotheby is kind of useless, quote unquote. Uh, without Jessica, because there's poison application that doesn't get used, because Jessica is the one that uses it. So if, you, if you're not interested in Jessica, you don't like Jessica design, you don't like Jessica gameplay, whatever whatever it is that you don't like, or maybe you don't have enough pulls and you're planning to getting uh, future units or whatever. In that case, uh, you, in my opinion, as a new player, you should still try this out, in my opinion, to be honest, because regardless of what thread you get, it's always a win. It's a higher win and a, and a lesser win, depending on which thread, in my opinion. But uh, assuming you don't get copies of what you already have on the, the you got on the beginner banner or on the maybe you pulled on the eternity banner and got eternity, right? So on this thread, the good ones are Druvis is really good, Anneli is really good, Sodeby is good, but only if you have Jessica, otherwise you should probably pick up Anna Lee. Anna Lee is the best one from the Golden Thread one, okay? Uh, for a free-to-play perspective, Druvis is good, but I'm not going to explain every character. Feel free to explain the characters on, like, uh, be a fan of your of your main, if it's one that I didn't that I didn't say on the, in the comments. Uh, this is not what I want to do now, so we're just picking out the best choices in the threads, okay? So on the thread two, the best ones would be Centurion and Medicine Pocket. New, New Babel is mid. It's kind of it's kind of uh, unused and niche because she does she doesn't. Really, it's just a tank, so she's not really used too much at the moment. Uh, still in China as well, and Eternity. If you already pick them up on the pick her up on the Honor banner, or maybe failed a 50-50 to her, then you should pick up uh, Centurion or Medicine Pocket. Now you having you having two healers is really good, but. In my opinion, if you already have Tooth Fairy, you can use DK, which is free and it's gonna it's gonna be given to you and another healer in eight days of login. So at that point, what you do is pick Centurion up, okay? Centurion is a strong, very, very strong, high tier, extremely high tier, extremely high damage, uh, beast DPS. The problem, the, the, the thing with beast at in this very day is that we are already past their banners. Melania and Centurion. Centurion is from standard, so uh, there's no way of guaranteeing her unless you reroll for her. Uh, oh, and Melania is, was in 1.1, so she's not out anymore. She was limited. She will come back eventually, but this is not what it means today. So if you get Golden Thread 2, the first one that you should get, regardless of your situation, should be Centurion if you are a new player and you happen to not have her already from any point in the game. Maybe you pulled on standard, maybe you pulled on on uh, on any banner and you fell the 50-50, limited banner, you fell the 50-50 and you got Centurion, right? So I, if you don't have a beast DPS, which is Centurion, then pick her up for if you get, if you happen to get Thread 2. Thread 3, on the Thread 3, IMO, the best one, the best ones are Voyager and Regulus. Close second is going to be a Knight. Lastly, Lilia, because she gets outclassed by Charlie and others. So, personally, for a new player, depending on, depends on what you have, right? So, if you have Regulus, now the best the best option would be Voyager, because you can do Regulus, Voyager, Tooth Fairy. You can do uh, Charlie, if you got her, Voyager, Tooth Fairy, which is crazy. It's a cracked team. Uh, 
uh, you can do anything you want, right? So if you have Regulus, if you have Regulus, but you don't really want to get another support god of CC, god of crowd control, stuns, uh, silence, counters, whatever, with the debuffs, uh, damage, whatever, right? You don't want Voyager, but you need a DPS because for whatever reason you didn't get two DPSs, right? Maybe you got, uh, maybe you got Eternity, and that's it. Right? Maybe you got Eternity from the standard banner, or maybe you got Regulus from the standard banner, and now you need a secondary DPS because in Limbo, which is the end game, you need two teams because the first team that you use the on the stage one gets like on cooldown, gets benched, and you can't use it on the second stage, which means that you need another three or four characters built, which includes the, the classic roster of DPS support healer. So at this point, A Knight comes into play and becomes a, a solid choice if you happen to be stuck on thread 3. At this point, if you have uh, Eternity and you don't really want Regulus, if you don't want Regulus or you already have Regulus, then then pick up A Knight, right? Because like Voyager, Regulus, they they can get the same, the same, they can be put in the same slot. So if you already have Regulus and you're missing a DPS, it's better to get A Knight on a, a account value point of view. Uh, than Voyager, right? Lilia, you don't need because uh, in this band you can get both Blonnie or Charlie. So if you're pulling on Eternity, you already have Charlie. If you're pulling on Tooth Fairy, you already have Blonnie, most likely. Maybe you got a lot. Maybe you got a lucky. I don't know. In that case, pick Regulus from here, okay? In that case, if you don't have any star DPS, then pick Regulus uh, because Regulus will be future proof. Lilia will not, okay? So at least sadly for now. Because she, she falls off really, really hard. So overall, we have a crazy starter pack for free-to-player. Free-to-play free to play players, okay? You have a lot of control over this. You can make crazy accounts today, right? If you start the game today, you have the chance of getting strong, str very, very extremely strong and valuable and future-proof accounts. So let me know what you think about it. Let me know if uh, you agree with me that this is like a, the craziest, probably the best time ever. It's not gonna, this is not going to repeat again unless they do the same concept. But the banners and the timing is just too good. It might, it might repeat next year, but Tooth Fairy is going to be here first for the first time only once, right? And then like there's going to be another character. We don't know what other character is going to be next year here, but maybe they'll do it again. But for now, unless you want to wait a year and see, uh, this is probably the best time to start the game, okay? So I think I'm done. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas or whatever whatever you do, even if you don't do Christmas, merry whatever, right? <laughs> and uh, happy new year, happy whatever you, I don't know what you do. Well, ha ha be happy, just be happy, okay? Uh, if you're happy, just, that's fine, okay? So thank you for watching and see you next time.